Welcome to Makeover Monday. My name is Natalie and I'm the owner and creator of Sparks of Joy Studio. This first makeover is this thrifted basket that I have. I had gotten it about a year ago and then noticed that there was a um, crack on the side which ended up breaking a little bit more. So the reason you see that clamp there is that I've glued back together that side of the basket. Now I'm going to be taking Dark and Decrepit by DIY and I'm going to be wiping it on or brushing it on to the basket and then wiping off the excess just to darken up this basket a bit. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? Once that's done, I embellish with some greenery and this quick and easy project is complete. Let me know what you think in the comments. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. For our second project, I had thrifted this, I don't know what this is, some wall hanging and I had gotten it for half off, so it was 49 cents. And what I'm gonna do is figure out a way to use it to kind of style with some greenery. But I didn't like the look of all these pieces and noticed that the one side had already broken off. So what I decided to do was take um, some wire cutters and I'm gonna cut off part of the this straw design, I guess, make it a little bit slimmer. Once I'm finished with that, I'm going to stick some greenery inside and then I tied on a um, piece of drop cloth that I had gotten from another thrifted item and this project is complete. For the next makeovers, I have a variety of small pictures that I have thrifted over the last couple months. And I'm using the brand new Apothecary stamp set and I'm going to be stamping on some, um, a little label here. My vision here is to make these kind of for Mother's Day. So I am going to be stamping mom on them. I painted them up with Victorian Lace by Fusion and I do not have that um, shown on video. But what you're going to see me do now is take this, the label part of the stamp first. I have one where I used um, China Blue by IOD ink and then the other ink I used was the Stone Gray. So once I stamp on the label I will then go back and stamp on MOM for mom. the one to write up a song for just anyone I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations oh because I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting but then you came along and proved me all wrong I was so mistaken because you glue all the pieces back together yeah you you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah you you're making me want to try forever I feel so free Oh my sweet baby I was never the one to give up the ghost No, I was so stuck I kept on playing my part Wanted to give up cause nothing was changing before the final reveal, I want to show you how I individualize these two pictures. 
For the blue one, I went in with the ink pad and I am just dabbing on a little bit of the ink on the edges of the pitcher around the rim and then on the handle. And that's just to kind of give it a little bit, I don't know, it, I guess it looks a little distressed, but it, it just a, a little bit of a finishing touch. Oh my sweet baby. For the stone gray um, pitcher, I did not do any of that um, finishing or distressing on it, but what I do want to show you is how I styled it. I put in some floral foam and I am in no way um, someone who is good at this. That's why I don't usually show myself um, styling florals or flo doing floral arrangements on my channel. However, I just wanted to show you how I would do this in order to sell it. I am sticking the flowers into the floral foam. Um, I am not gluing it on, but what I will glue on uh, on top of the foam so it just looks nicer uh, when presented is some of the Spanish moss. So I'll be putting that in and that's what I will hot glue to the floral foam, but everything is easily removable should the person who gets this want to change it up. the pieces back together yeah you you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah you you're making me want to try forever i feel so free oh my sweet baby for this next makeover i have these book pages that i found um they actually have sentimental value so they belonged to my dad um i found them when i was cleaning out stuff my dad passed away a little over a year ago so i had originally painted them up and put them on the shelf just to kind of keep them but i wanted to kind of embellish them a little bit more make them a little more special it is definitely something that will be mine um i'm going to paint the bookends or the, the sides of the books in oakum by fusion to match the transfer that i plan to have on there what if the world had more of your smile what if the wind could spread your love what if your sweetness could reach everyone there be no wars mm. maybe the birds will sing once that's done i'm going to come in with kindest regards iod stamp and i'm going to be stamping the lettering on it in stone gray ink will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope Now I'm taking this beautiful transfer. It looks almost like a book page with a bunny on it. It is from one of the 2023 holiday releases by IOD. And I'm gonna be transferring that onto the cover of this book stack. Once that's finished, I'm going to replace the twine with the greenery that I had already put together and this project will be done. For our last super quick makeover, I have this glass basket that I had um, painted with, I think it's Woodwick by Fusion. I had done some dry brushing in Victorian lace. And then I am going to be taking these two uh, little eggs I made with air dry clay and I had painted them in light blue and made some speckles. And then hot gluing those as well as this beautiful bird that I got off Amazon and uh, just creating a little set that I can sell at an upcoming event that I have. I hope you have enjoyed my very first Makeover Monday. I envision this 
extra video, um, which I hope to be able to provide more often. Um, I'm hoping that it will be something that'll help me get a lot of things out of my stash, out of my craft room, um, and actually give it new life, new purpose. I hope you have a very happy Monday and a wonderful week. Thank you for joining me. See you soon. Oh,